Hello everyone, Lisa here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play Fusion Fall on your Steam Deck using SteamOS. For this tutorial, I will be using the Open Fusion Client and not Flashpoint. But don't worry, this method will still allow you to play Fusion Fall offline. First, download the zip version of the OpenFusion client. Then download the server that corresponds to the version of the game you wish to play. Go to the Downloads folder. Then one at a time, right-click on a file, hover over Extract, and select Auto Detect Subfolder. Now go to the OpenFusion Client folder, right-click on the OpenFusionClient.exe, and select Copy Location. Now open Lutris. If you don't have Lutris on your Steam Deck already, you can install it using the Discover Store. Click the plus icon in the top left hand corner, select install a Windows game from executable, type in Fusion Fall, and click install. Click install again, then click continue. Now paste the location of the OpenFusion client and click install. Alright, so there will be an error, but that's okay. Just close the error and click abort. Make sure you uncheck remove game files. Now go to the OpenFusion Client folder and copy Web Player. Go to Games and select Fusion Fall. Browse for local.lo. And create a Unity folder. Now paste the web folder inside of that. Now we're going to want to go to the Programs folder and create a folder for Fusion Fall. Return to your Downloads folder, then take both the Open Fusion folder and the Server folder and move them over to that newly created Fusion Fall folder. I know it's a lot of folders. Now right click on the Open Fusion client and select Copy Location. Return to Lutris and click the plus icon again. Select Add a Locally Installed Game and type in Fusion Fall. Change the runner to Wine and go to Game Options. Where it says Executable, paste the location of the Open Fusion Client. Where it says Wine Prefix, paste the location again, but remove everything after Fusion Fall except for the forward slash. and click Save. Now select the Fusion Fall shortcut and click on the arrow at the bottom next to where it says Windows. Select Wine Tricks, click OK, select Install a Font, and click OK. Just check all fonts and click OK again. It will take a few minutes for all of those fonts to install, and there will be some pop-up messages. It's okay to just ignore them since all of this is automated anyways. Once the fonts are installed, right-click on the Fusion Fall shortcut and select Configure. Go to the Runner options and make sure Wine Tricks is on and disable DXVK. Change the Wine version to System and go to System Options. Make sure both Disable Lutris Runtime and Prefer System Libraries are both checked. Scroll down until you see CPU then turn on Restrict Number of Cores Used and Restrict the Number of Cores to 2. Then make sure Enable Feral Game Mode is on and click Save. This should fix any graphical issues with the Fusion Fall client and help Fusion Fall run a lot smoother. Now right click on the Fusion Fall shortcut and select Duplicate. 
Return to the Fusion File folder and go to the server folder you copied over. Right click on WinFusion.exe and select Copy Location. Now right click on Fusion File 2 and select Configure. Change the name to Fusion File Server. and go to Game Options. Clear out everything in the executable field and paste the location of the server file. Then click Save. Open any text editor on your Steam Deck. Then copy and paste the script from the video description. Save it as fusionfall.sh Now right click on it and select Properties. Go to the Permissions tab and make sure Is Executable is checked. Then add the script to Steam. Now run the script and wait until you see the OpenFusion client. This might take a few seconds. Now you're going to see two default servers. Edit whichever one is relevant to you, whether you're doing the Academy version of the game or the original. Change the server IP to 127.0.0.1.23000. Now click Save and connect to your new server. If you do choose to play this game offline, just make sure your Steam Deck is connected the first time you launch the game, as well as when you complete the training area and transition to the main game. This is so you can download the necessary assets for the game, since the server doesn't contain everything, it's kind of like a blank slate if you will. Otherwise, you can happily play the game offline since the data will be downloaded locally to your Steam Deck. Logging in here will actually create a username and a password for your account, Make sure you write it down so you don't have to start the game over if you forget. There is one last thing about Fusion Fall on the Steam Deck. The controller doesn't work correctly out of the box. You will need to go into the Steam Controller settings and set it to use the mouse and keyboard controls. Do not try to remap your controls within Fusion Fall itself because it could just mess everything up since it doesn't read a lot of the buttons on the Steam Deck correctly and it might think two different buttons are the exact same button for some weird reason. So uh, just keep that in mind. Alright, well that's all I had for this video. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you need any help, and as usual, I hope you have a good day!